Let's try and solve this question. What do we have over here is sin 2x plus cos x equals 0. Okay. Our target, remember, our target is to take something common, right? What can this simplify into? I see that there's a cos x hidden in sin 2x. How? Sin 2x is actually equal to 2 sin x cos x. Okay. There's a cos x already there. Yeah. In the second term. We can take cos x common. Yes, take it. What remains is 2 sin x plus what remains over here is simply 1. Right. This is what you get. And product of these two factors equals 0 implies that either cos x equals 0 or 2 sin x plus 1 equals 0. What happens to this cos x equals 0? This implies that x will be equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2, where n belongs to integer. This is the solution, right? For cos x equals 0. What happens in the other case? This gives me sin x equals minus 1 by 2. Okay. Sin x equals minus 1 by 2. So you'll have to find one value, one value of x for which sin x equals minus 1 by 2. And for that, I can draw the quadrant. Half. The value half is for pi by 6. Now in the first quadrant, sin is positive. In the second quadrant, sin is positive. We need sin negative. So we'll have to go to this quadrant or this quadrant, right? Any of these. Let's go to this quadrant. This angle is pi by 6. Okay. This is pi plus so overall angle would become pi plus pi by 6. This is sine 7 pi by 6, right? Sine 7 pi by 6. This is minus sine pi by 6, which is actually equal to sine pi plus pi by 6. That's what you can observe, right? After doing that analysis at the back of your mind or in the rough, you can easily write this. Otherwise, you'll have difficulty in writing this. So, keep this in your mind and then write this. This is equals, this equals sine 7 pi by 6. Okay. So, sine x equals sine 7 pi by 6 implies the general solution would be n pi plus minus 1 power n times 7 pi by 6 where n belongs to integer. This or this is my answer, right? This or this is my final answer for this question over here. Sin 2x plus cos x equals 0. Is that all? Yes, that's all in this question.